Hi guys, so today I'm going to be trying out something exciting. I'm going to be using the newly released Llama 3. I'm going to be creating a React agent and passing tools for the agent to actually use. I want to see how good it is at actually calling functions or, or using tools. Basically, that's just it. And as you can see in the code, all it's doing is using creating a basic rag and vector index and we index everything. And we use, we have three tools, the query engine, to get a PR documentation because I actually did something here. I did create um, a folder under rag data docs and there are files in here. These are the two most important files, the test.py and the readme.pdf. The readme.pdf contains API documentation for Flask API. It's just basic two page documentation. I want to see how, if it can actually read it and if it can actually use it just in case it actually needs it and at the end of the day we have test.py which is the main focus so it's going to look, in, look into test.py use these slash items posts it's actually a post request um, and create a method to actually create items whatever so that's just it's just basic but the main focus our main focus is to see if it can actually call the code reader to the code generator to properly without um, hallucinating and wondering about things like that we do not want that so for the react agents we're going to be using llama tree basically because we're testing llama tree and so for the query engine and the the react agent we're going to be using llama tree no other we're not going to be using any other llm and as you can see, this is the React agent, and then we're passing the tools, the three tools, the query engine tool, the code reader tool, and the code generator. If you look at the code reader, all it's doing is going into whatever folder you want, you want it to go into, and then reading whatever file name you ask it to read. And for the code generator, it just creates, it takes in the file name and the code. So it can actually create the file using the file name and also paste in the code, whatever code it wants to actually write. So that's basically what it's doing. And we'll see if it can actually call it because many other smaller LLMs do not actually work properly. Like they just wonder about or they start hallucinating without actually calling the tools properly. They don't even know how to call it or they just wander around. So let's see if this actually works well so i have a prompt which i want to actually try which is this what we'll be asking is we're going to tell you to read contents of let me just paste it read contents of test.py and write a python script that calls the post endpoint to make a new item so So as you can see, it's actually using the code reader immediately to read test.py, which is actually really cool because many other smaller LLMs don't do that. And it's using the code generator to actually create it. But I noticed that the code is actually empty, which is not cool. So let's, let's see. Everything will be out, will be supposed to go here as you can see it reads it again without any issues the problem is with the code generator i think uh, there might be an issue with the prompt okay it actually created it saved the file create underscore item dot pi and it didn't do anything under it just could not pass outputs action formats okay now it actually rewrites it which is really cool i think it actually found out there was nothing there so the generated script will be named creates underscore item dot pi as you can see it uses the request library and it does the post with the headers and the json which is really cool the new item which is really really fucking cool like really cool so that's it and it's as you can see it actually works at least 95 percent of the time it actually works which is really important because the others actually works let's say 50 percent of the time and they just wander around and another thing which can actually really help is using it with wizard lm2 not the first 
iteration but the second iteration which is actually really something i want to actually try out i've tried wizard lm2 but it didn't it was actually really good but not this good so but let's see if we can use wizard lm for the query engine and then use llama 3 for the base like for the react agent so let's let's try that out next <laughs> 